guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week of what's for dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Taylor. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two and I share these dinner videos every week to give you guys some dinner inspiration. I love trying new recipes. It makes being in the kitchen as often as I am more fun. So I try to try like a couple new recipes at least every week. I hope if you're new and you like these kinds of videos that you'll subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Real quick, before we get into the dinners, I want to mention any recipes I use will always be linked in the description box. Now let's get into this week's meals. It is Friday and that means it's an easy night for dinner. If you're new here, I like to keep Fridays easy because it's when I go grocery shopping and I just like, I'm tired from all of that and so I like quick stuff. So tonight we were doing tacos. We picked up this beef at the grocery store today. It, they label it as carne picada and it's basically just like chopped up like steak. So we have that and I put some taco seasoning in it. And then I tried a new recipe for rice in the Instant Pot. This recipe came from Kristen Stepp. It's not her recipe, but it's the one that she really likes. And I opened it when it got done. And I instantly knew it was way better because you can just tell by looking at it, it's way better than last time. It's not sticky, it didn't stick to the bottom at all, and it tastes really good. I didn't use the tomato bouillon because my Kroger doesn't carry it. I just used um, the stuff by the same brand, which is just chicken bouillon. And the tomato one is actually tomato with chicken. So I just didn't use the tomato because I didn't have it. And it still tastes really good. So I imagine like with the tomato one, it'd be even better. It does have tomato sauce in it. Just it would add some more tomato flavor. But we re I really like this. Nobody else tried it yet, but I think it's really good. So we have that. And then we have tacos. As I said, I made the beef. Lily has meat and cheese and tomato. Elijah just has meat and cheese. Soft shells this time. Rice. And that's going to be it tonight. The kids might have some chips if they want it. But I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, that's going to be our dinner for Friday. Bye. It is Saturday and we were at a Halloween party earlier from like 5 to 8 and so we pretty much ate food like there was like snacky food and stuff there. I didn't eat a lot. The kids ate quesadillas and they ate plenty so they weren't hungry when we got home and I wasn't hungry when we got home either. It's 10 o'clock now though and I'm feeling kind of hungry so my dinner tonight is going to be some peanut butter Captain Crunch which is my favorite cereal ever. Um, yeah, it's always been my favorite. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite kind of cereal. That is going to be my dinner for Saturday. It is Sunday and I'm getting ready to throw dinner in the crock pot because we're about to leave and I just want to have this ready when we get home. And I'm going to show y'all what we're doing. We got some meatballs. This is a bag of homestyle meatballs. Uh, 32 ounces. So I'm going to put that in there. And then most people have probably seen like the grape jelly and chili sauce meatballs before. Some people do barbecue sauce, um, but in my house, like, my dad always used to make chili sauce and grape jelly. Well, one year, me and Andy had a jar of, like, this jalapeno jelly, so we decided to try that with it, and it was really good, um, but that was, like, a, a jelly from, like, a local, like, little thing where, like, my great aunt lives, but they do have, like, this hot jalapeno pepper jelly at the grocery store, so I think we've made it with this before, I'm pretty sure because it was so good the first time so we are going to make it with this again today just like using grape jelly but instead you have hot jalapeno pepper jelly so i'm just going to dump this in over the meatballs and let it cook on low for a couple hours And I'm gonna take this bottle and just put a tiny bit of water in it and shake it up to get the last bit to get that last bit of sauce out. Okay, to go with the meatballs for dinner, we are going to be making some mashed potatoes in the instant pot. So I have about two or three pounds of potatoes over here that I have quartered and peeled and I'm going to put them in there with about half a cup of water and some salt and then cook this on manual high pressure I believe for 10 minutes yes for 10 minutes and then we will do a quick quick release and add in all the stuff to make the mashed potatoes
mashed potatoes are done. To these, I just added some milk and some butter and some pepper, and I already did the salt at the beginning. And then I just mashed them up really well and mixed them up really well. And then here are how the meatballs are looking. I already tasted them, and they are delicious. They're not too hot, like, to me. If you don't like hot, like, spicy stuff at all, though, you probably wouldn't like them because they are a little bit spicy. But to us, it's not really that spicy. So, there they are on top of the mashed potatoes because that sauce is really good with mashed potatoes. And then I just made a can of green beans. And here are the kids' plates. And I just cut their meatballs in half for them. And that is going to be dinner for Sunday. It is Monday, and tonight for dinner I made some Brunswick stew. I had some pulled pork left over from last time I made pulled pork, and I made Brunswick stew that time as well, but we had a bunch of pulled pork left over. So I pulled that out of the freezer today and made this Brunswick stew. It's the same recipe I used last time. The only difference is I forgot to get onion, so there's no onion in it, but I did put onion powder. And then we tried a new barbecue sauce in it this time, because last time we wanted it to be a little bit tangier, so this is a Carolina-inspired barbecue sauce. It says a sweet tangy sauce with accents of mustard and vinegar. So we're trying that. And then to go with it, I made some of these red lobster biscuits. These are the rosemary garlic parmesan ones. And so that is going to be our dinner for Monday. This night is Tuesday and for dinner I'm making some chicken for sandwiches or salads. I'm heating a little bit of olive oil and butter in my pan and then seasoning on both sides with some Body of Complete and Tony's Creole seasoning. This chicken was so good I took the leftovers the next day and made a chicken salad sandwich and it was amazing. <laughs> Once my chicken was cooked through, I removed it and added some zucchini to the pan with some salt and pepper. Okay, dinner is done. It might be a little loud because we have our attic fan on because it's cool outside, but it was hot in here because I've been baking all day. We made some Cajun chicken. As you saw, I'm having a sandwich. There's cheddar cheese on there. I had to use shredded because I forgot to pick up sliced. Some lettuce, tomato, and mayo. The kids are having like deconstructed salads. Lily hasn't been wanting lettuce though, so she's got some zucchini like me, some tomato, some carrot, croutons, chicken, cheese, and Elijah does have some salad with some ranch. And then the zucchini, I just put salt and pepper on this time since I cooked it in the same pan that I had cooked the chicken in. And that is going to be dinner for Tuesday. It is Wednesday and tonight for dinner I made this pork tenderloin. I actually took a little video of the package of it before I cooked it today. This is from Walmart and I spent just over $2. It was under $3, I remember that, for two and a half pounds of pork tenderloin. And it had this like garlic citrus marinade on it. So we're having that tonight. It's the first time we're ever trying it. I picked two up, so hopefully we like it. Um, I did try a bite, and it tasted pretty good. The one bite was a little bit spicy, so hopefully it's pretty good. It's a little hot, too hot to really taste it right now. And then to go with that, I just made a can of green beans and some rice aroni rice pilaf. So pretty quick and easy dinner tonight. Keeping it simple. That's going to be dinner for Wednesday. It is Thursday and tonight we're going to be having a chicken alfredo tortellini thing for dinner that you make pretty much all in the crock pot. And I've shared a recipe video for this in the past so it'll be linked down below. But I am starting off with frozen chicken and I'm going to cook it on high because my chicken is frozen. And to that I'm just going to add these two jars of classic alfredo sauce and I will add a little bit of water to them to make sure I get all the sauce out of there and then I'm going to add some extra garlic powder and some pepper and then as I said I'm just going to cook it on high until this evening when it's time for dinner and then we'll add some tortellini to it.
Okay, so the chicken is done. I have turned it off and I have shredded the chicken. If you were using like the refrigerated tortellini, you could add them in here for 15 minutes and they would cook. But I'm using the frozen kind just because I like to keep them on hand in my freezer. And so I'm gonna boil them for the two to three minutes that the package says, and then add them to the crock pot with some Parmesan cheese and dinner will be ready. Okay, here's the finished dinner, and I just topped it with some parsley. It's obviously doesn't look the greatest. It's a crockpot meal, but it is going to taste delicious. And to go with it, I just made some garlic bread. I had some leftover sub rolls, so I just split them in half, put some garlic powder and some butter on it, and put it in the toaster oven for a few minutes. So that is going to be our quick and easy dinner for Thursday. And that is going to wrap up another week of what's for dinner. If you like my what's for dinners, I'd love it if you would subscribe down below so you can watch my future ones. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.